The character in today's homeless shelter story is going to be a reoccurring character in my stories because how could he not be? Country. I made a video on this kid a couple videos back about how he was new to the homeless shelter and seemed naive and was awkward and sang really loud. That kid, country. I called him country because he awkwardly sang bad country music very loudly. Turns out he is a clinical psychopath who ended up slowly going crazy because he did not have medication. And there are so many stories about him. I'm just going to kind of break the ice in this video by giving you a the lowdown. So I'm pretty disconnected from the rumor mill, from the grapevine in this place, right? I keep to myself, man. Well, anyway, even though I keep to myself, I keep hearing stories about country getting into conflicts with other people in the building. And I'm thinking, hmm, that sure is a ton of stories, but I don't think too much of it. Well, one day I'm on the porch enjoying a smoke. Man, ain't nothing wrong with smoking weed. And country comes out to talk with me. Now, country's always seemed kind of annoying and attention sinking and a little unhinged. So I normally kind of give him like 15% of my attention, right? I'll like look at him about every once, every one minute and 30 seconds. And the rest of the time, I'm just like looking away from him, right? He makes me uncomfortable. <clears throat> so while he's talking at me, you know, because my head's turned and I'm really trying not to pay attention to this weirdo, another new kid comes out and his name doesn't matter. But he just says, hey, James. And instantly... Country brr, tenses up and just a noise like that, right? Just brr, and gets in this kid's face and is like, Can't you fucking hear that I'm in a fucking conversation with James? Why the fuck are you interrupting me? Can I please talk for five minutes without you interrupting me? <sighs> gets up in this other new kid's face. And I'm going to call them kids, right? But both of them are like young 20s. So they're men. They're not kids. They're young men. They're men. I don't even have to call them young men. I'm just old. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just old. And it's nuts. Because country, by the way, is huge. He's like 6'5". And this other guy is like 5'7". And maybe 140 pounds? And the situation made no sense, right? I wasn't looking back at this kid country and talking to him. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't like the kid who came outside pushed anybody aside or yelled. He just said... Hey, James, just to get my attention. Hey, James, how you doing? I'm wonderful, how are you? And instantly, country lost his shit. I mean, like a drill sergeant would yell at somebody, he was like a quarter inch from this guy's face, like begging him to hit him or something. He was totally within his personal area, you know? He was trying to get a rise out of this kid. Honestly, it's kind of like... It's kind of punk bitch behavior you remember from high school when someone's up in your face and they're too much of a coward to hit you first, right? So they're trying to get someone to give them a reason, right? It's typical teenage coward shit. And what was striking was how much rage was in country. It So after about like four minutes of him screaming at this other guy saying, I'll beat your fucking ass, I'll put you in the hospital. You I'll put you in the hospital, asking. old man. No. Like just being un- hinged this other kid walks back inside and country is just spiraling yelling talking to himself forcing other people to get involved on the porch hey didn't you see that i mean didn't you see that thing wasn't that rude i don't fucking interrupt other people i show respect you know all while talking about how respectful he is just that i get like this thing where i want to be a gentleman and i want to show respect while he's one of the least motherfucking respectful people I've ever seen. And I could go on with this story, but there's another one, a better one. So this kid also just, another thing that he does is just talk on speakerphone to his family about deeply personal things, like needing psychotic medication, about cussing out his mom the night previously and threatening to kill her. Like, he'll just, you'll just see him in the morning and he'll be like, oh man, holding his head. And he like, oh so obviously wants attention because there wasn't any room in this noise and you walk into this kind of living room area and he's there alone and then all of a sudden oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man 
And he looks at you and he's just like, I yelled at my mom again last night. And it's like, I don't know your mom's name. I barely know your name. What are you talking to me about this for? And you just have to entertain him because this kid, again, <laughs> is some type of unstable psychopath. So I entertain him and I'm like, oh, yeah, what, what happened with your mom? Because I totally give a shit. It's like, well, she said she wouldn't send me money, so I told her I was going to come home and cut her head off, and and I said some other even more unhinged things. And I was thinking, like, what in the fuck is more unhinged than telling your mom you're going to cut her head off and then crying because you're trying to call her in the morning and apologize to her and she's not answering the phone, right? But this is like a daily thing with this kid. Like, daily, this kid. Let's look at this attitude on this kid. What the fuck's up? After this, after I saw his first blow up, not only did he blow up every single day, he blew up at multiple people like this every single day. Sometimes two to three times a day, there was some weird constant phone call going on with his family about with him calling to apologize for threatening to assault them or oversharing personal stories about how his family had tracking devices on them and an alarm system. In, in their house, just for him. So whenever he left his room, they'd know. He also proudly told the story about how once his bitch mother pissed him off, so he hit her in the head so hard she fell down the basement stairs. And he might have went to a juvenile detention center for about half a year, but she deserved it and still remembers. And then other times, he'll talk about his parents and his mom, like they're the best people on planet Earth. They're the salt of the Earth. They could do no wrong. These people are the best of the best. And then other times, he just seems to like, when he's really upset, he just makes shit up, and he has to make shit up, because he when he's in a good mood, he doesn't say these things, but my parents used to torture me and beat me, it's just, it's confusing. Am I, am I getting this through? This kid's confusing. Every time you come across him, he's either freshly out of an argument that he's still spiraling over, to where his, his, his face is just beat red right? He's tensing up and just doing all this stupid movement stuff. 90% of the time when you see him. And the other 10%, he's a total attention whore who just doesn't shut the fuck up. Here's another thing. He does TikTok, and he makes these TikTok videos about him beating up random objects. So he found some cardboard box that he put some pillows inside of in the basement, and he made a TikTok video, and it's as lame as you could imagine this being, of him punching hard, I admit, they were hard punches, but still, beating up a cardboard box, and then putting, like, Mike Tyson motivational quotes behind it, and just being like, man, look at this, look at, this is awesome, isn't it? And he kind of almost lost it at me, the little fuck. As much time as I've given him, I couldn't help myself. I was like, man, you're punching a cardboard box in that video. And he's like, you, you don't have to like act like you're going to ignore me. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't really watch TikTok and you're punching a cardboard box, bro. That's not that impressive. And I... Please, no, 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 don't watch it. I'm surprised you didn't blow up because like that is the type of shit to make him blow up. And you have to admit, before I said this to him, I like, again, this is, it's all still so fresh. This is like... An entire cigarette of me trying to de-stress outside and him just in my face trying to show me this different TikTok stuff. And he, he speaks like I'm speaking now in like a giant run-on sentence. He doesn't let you talk. He doesn't ask questions. He says, oh, hold on, hold on, one more thing, one more thing. And he just, in general, is an energy vampire, right? He needs attention so badly. Like, oh my God, does this kid, and I'm calling him a kid because mentally he's a child. He's, he's emotionally immature and he's dumb, you know, is we're not talking about a smart person here. Oh, and he shared, and he shared with me fantasies about killing other people, dreams about killing other people. He shared with me stories about how he tortured animals, especially squirrels when he was a kid. He told me he had sexual fantasies about his mother. Like, this kid is an unprompted open book that might start a fight any second, and he'll just walk up to you like you're totally interested, and the way he looks at you are with these big, dumb, brown, intense eyes. This is a white kid that I'm talking about. And just... And it's so weird. He has two modes. I think he was homeschooled. He has, like, this really weird, naive look, very intense look. And it's just, like, this kind of vacant smile, and... 
all like contorted and pissed. That's it. That's it. And it's hilarious. This motherfucker still talks like he's going to become a police officer. I'd take the best attributes of each one and become the best police officer I could be. I don't get it. He has no self-awareness. Somehow, he had gotten into community college. And when he's at the homeless shelter, I remember him talking like, oh, yeah, I start my first day at school tomorrow. Well, of course, his first day of school, he made some awful fucking scene. I I talked to that dumbass, too, and I was like, listen, man, um, you're telling me that you unpredictably blow up and that there's you're admitting there's no rhyme or reason. You just blow up at people. Uh, you can't go to school, man. Like, in a social setting, you're going to ruin your life. Like, you need to get on meds. I, I shouldn't... Whatever. I, I helped him out. And he did pull out of class. And was like, I'm, I'm going to try again next semester. Good fucking luck. Good fucking luck. Just all that and so much more. And he's just so, as you could imagine, goddamn arrogant, man. I'm going to be a police officer. I'd be the best police officer. Look at this worthless boxing TikTok of me. I'm the hardest guy you've ever known. When I was back in my hometown, I used to be friends with gangsters. Like, he just sounds like the most naive little turd you've ever heard who doesn't let anybody else talk. And no matter what you say, this little fake shit has some story that doesn't exist. So anyway, I might not even release this. This is pretty much just me complaining about this kid and not even a story it's just i've been through a lot okay i'm gonna tell you an interesting a b c d e f g story about him i mean it's not a competition but i've been through a lot but thanks i just wanted to say that i needed to get that off my chest <laughs>